there! This is my channel, Shy's Designs, and I'm Cheyenne. I started this business because I wanted to stay home with my babies and make money while doing that. Wanting the maximum flexibility for myself, I decided to start working for myself and start flipping furniture. Furniture flipping happens right outside of my garage, and I started with $300 and I haven't looked back. Today, my plan is to do a six month compilation video with you. I'm going to cover all the flips I did before I decided to do a YouTube channel and all of my current flips that I have fully flipped. I'm also going to cover any tips and tricks I missed out on telling you during this transition to YouTube and how much profit I have made since I started six months ago. Let's start with my very first flip, which was a very cute kids table and two little chairs to go with it. I found it at an antique thrift store for $54. My idea for the table and chairs was to strip the tops and to paint the bases. Huge tip on clamps. You actually don't need to spend all that money on those giant clamps, which I definitely needed. Instead, I bought some small ratchet straps that worked the same way, and they were a thousand times cheaper and they came in a four pack. They got the job done and I was so very happy with them. Now on to the actual flip. I left everything overnight because I was very new at this and I wanted to make sure that it came out looking amazing and being very very sturdy because this is made for kids. Like I said, I bought this guy for $54 and I only put about $15 of full product on this guy and I was able to sell it for $175 literally the next day. That makes my profit $121. On my very first flip, that felt amazing. Now I want to quickly share how I found this island at Lowe's and for so cheap. While I was looking for some materials for my other flips, I stumbled upon this island and I noticed that it was out of box and I didn't have a price posted on it. I noticed that the inbox ones were posted for $300 and I didn't want to pay that for an out of box display piece. So I found the guy and I asked him how much it was. He said that there wasn't really a price and I should make him an offer. Trying to be as fair as possible, I told him that I didn't want to pay more than $100 for it. So after tax, he made it exactly $100. Pretty awesome, actually. I brought it home and I immediately knew what I wanted to do with it. I wanted to strip the top because I knew that it wasn't solid wood and I didn't want to hurt the veneer that they had on it. I wiped it back with some mineral spirits and then I put a wood conditioner on it so that it didn't come out splotchy because I had a feeling that it was plywood. And that has a good chance of coming out splotchy if I didn't put the wood conditioner. I then cleaned up the base, took off all assembly stickers, and I added casters to where the levelers were on the feet, and I made it a mobile island. I was able to post this guy for $250, and it sold that same week for full price. After everything I did on the piece and used on the piece, I came out with a profit of $125. Next, I got to work on the gray chairs from our home. They didn't need too much work, they just weren't being used, and I wanted to clean them up a little bit before I posted them online. So I just gave them a quick vacuuming, maybe a little bit of spot cleaning, and I shaved off any fuzzies that might have been on the fabric. After I finished everything up, I posted them for $300 and I got a ton of inquiries about them. After a lot of back and forth with a lot of customers, I had this lady actually prepay for them at full price so that she could come get them whenever she pleased, which happened to me the next day, so it wasn't a big deal. But that was amazing and a great experience, and I would have done that again if I could, if I had more chairs, of course. These chairs were actually given to us, so they weren't an upfront cost, so I got to pocket the entire profit of $300. Next, I focused on my couch and my dresser flips. Those are the very first videos that I posted to my channel on Chai's Designs. Go subscribe if you haven't already. And these are actually two of my most exciting pieces because they yielded me a ton of profit and they had huge transformations. With my couch, it actually yielded me $505 in profit after cleaning, repairing, and painting, and selling it for $550. 
And then my dresser being the perfect color for my buyer and was just a fantastic feeling. She actually told me that they had bought previous furniture from maybe Ashley Furniture or something and they discontinued the piece when she decided to finally get the dresser for it and so she really wanted the piece because of the color and the pulls. She actually changed her other pieces to match the pulls. Love it. I'm so excited for her. After selling it for $200, that flip yielded me $130 in profit. Now on to my bathroom flip the Grey King cabinet, and my tiny dresser. My bathroom flip took me a couple of hours to finish, and it yielded me $72 in profit, which isn't a huge amount, but it was so cute, and I couldn't have priced it more than $110 because it was very small. My Grey cabinet, I picked it up for $50 on Facebook Marketplace. I spent another $70 in flipping it because cane is pretty expensive. And then I technically sold it to this guy for $225. But after delivering it to this random shopping mall he wanted, he actually tipped me and it made my profit come out to $120. The tiny dresser I flipped in a blush coastal pink color. And I spent a total of $52 for upfront costs for this little guy. I sold my tiny dresser for $120 and I had $70 in profit on that little guy. And that was fantastic. My antique piece that I got to sell to the coffee shop actually yielded me a pretty good profit as well. And I was so excited about that one because it got me into a store and they're actually going to represent me on their page soon and I'm possibly doing another piece for them so if you stick around and subscribe to my channel I will definitely get to that one as well. And then last but not least my bleach wood furniture buffet piece that I got to sell to a subscriber. Oh my goodness. So happy about that. That is honestly a priceless experience and I'm so happy that I got to do that. You guys, I have grown from 8 subscribers made completely up of my supportive family to now 170 plus subscribers. At the end of the day, flipping furniture and making pieces that people are excited about and want to take home is such an amazing and accomplishing feeling. Since I started flipping furniture six months ago, I have made $1,853 on 10 successful flips. Only being able to do a couple flips a month because of my schedule, I don't think that that has held me back from making a pretty good side hustle, and I can't wait to see where we are six months from now. Compared to the time that I get to spend with my baby because I am working from home and doing this side hustle furniture flipping, these flips and the support you guys give me is just priceless. I'm so very grateful. Later on, as promised, I will be doing a video calculating my bulk expenses, among other highlights on how I run my business day to day, and a little schedule that I like to keep just to keep me on track from week to week. Just in case any of you stay at home moms and dads want to make a living out of this or something else that might be similar to this and I might be able to help with. As always, if you have any questions, post them below and I always, always answer everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it inspires you to pick up what you love to do and possibly make money with it in a flexible schedule that makes you happy. If you enjoyed this video or happen to learn something, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. I post every Sunday. See you then.